What's next, James? Uh, a little piece of gold. Ooh, piece one of, of my favorites. A what Honda, gold. A Honda XR400. It's in gear. Wow. Hey, man, do a wheelie. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, jump it off the dock. Let me try. Okay, can we keep it? <laughs> Let's go give it a little test run down there. <laughs> your chance to win a brand new 2022 Honda CRF 450 Works Edition for 10 bucks. Go to www.kaplancycles.com. Buy your ticket today. That was pretty good. Hit the rock, man. <laughs> Wizard on the gas, Monday morning. Just across the street, across the street. I'm ready. Let's go. Want to race that two stroke? We put the helmet on so the YouTube sensors don't uh, give us a, a stupid strike. Hey, green means go. Check the flag for the win. Wizard's not himself this morning. It's Monday morning, and you know he was at the strippy all weekend, and he just fell over and dented the pro circuit pipe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, hey, guys, we need views and subscriptions to pay for that new pipe. So if you hadn't hit the subscribe button, please do. <laughs> this is it for all the marbles. Yep, this is it. This is it. of the morning guys how do you top a killer birthday easter weekend where you got to have easter dinner with the deegans and watch hayden send it at the wick for the first time well you come in on monday morning and james shows up with a killer trailer load of bikes so without further ado let's see what you got here james another monday at kaplan cycles james did not disappoint my friend tim and his wife michelle they were married for over 40 years he called me up and we've been talking for a couple years he sent me pictures of the bikes Okay, you know, sometimes things exceed your expectations. He told me about this Moto Marini. Look at this thing. It's like it just came out of the box, brand new. Him and his son raced motocross. His son's a AMA championship winning MX racer, and this was his first race bike. He actually won four to six class on this bike. This is one of the hottest 50s from, the, from that era. And he did a full frame off. 
Look at this sprocket on this. I'm one. not sure I've ever seen one of these, actually, but it's fast. This was smoking all the bikes back in the day. Look at the motor on it. It's a 49cc two-stroke, full frame off restoration. It's got new tires, new plastics, just a super sick little mini. I can't wait to hear this thing rip. They're moving, so they wanted to find a new home for their entire collection. We bought their entire collection of bikes, everything from a Motor Marini 50 to a Road King Harley Davidson. So stay tuned. Got some beauties rolling off the truck today. Look at this. I believe this is a 1975 KX250. This is one that he had set up for uh, AHRMA, vintage racing. Look at the cylinder on this thing. It's beautiful. It's got a racing pipe on it. This is the second Monday in a row that James showed up with a trailer full of bikes. And uh, this and one does not it. disappoint. Tim told me, uh, now all, most of the bikes on the trailer are ones he bought brand new. Um, him and his wife have been married for, for over 40 years. And he actually met her at, at the race racetrack she rode too. Isn't that, isn't that correct, James? Met her in the dirt pit, they were Met her in, in the sand pits riding dirt bikes. This is they, the rare relationship circumstance where the marriage lasts longer than the ownership of the bikes. Yes. <laughs> check, check this out. It's got the original factory decals on the, on the tank right here. Uh, I'm not sure if this is original paint, but it looks like it. It's got the Hagon shocks on there, brand new set of shocks. Nice comfy seat. Back then, you had more suspension travel in your seat than you did in the suspension, but these things are little rippers, so uh, definitely be doing a se second gear holy for you guys. This one, he was riding, so it's not restored yet, but we are gonna restore this, and it'll look like brand new, so stay tuned here. This bad boy, Rip. This is from the Jimmy Weiner era. Hey, do I have the best job in the world? <laughs> the first thing I did when I got here is, uh, is uh, Kyle um, was delivering a black CR500, so I got to ride that. Look at this, huh? That's a that's a kick-ass machine. This is a Roger DeCosta replica RM3, a Roger DeCosta era RM370 Suzuki. This is one of the first big bore two-strokes that uh, Suzuki, the first effective one. They had the TM400, and they went from, the TMs were never real popular. These RMs were, look, look at this thing. Look at this thing, guys. This is absolutely beautiful. The TM400, wow. one of the, most dangerous uh, dirt bikes yeah, and if ever you, produced. If you, if you wanted to race a vintage 70s big bore two-stroke, this is pretty much one of the best you can you can possibly get. Beautiful saddle. Look at the tank on this thing. Wow. Look at the pipe too. Pipe's nice and straight. Look at the shocks, progressive shocks on it. Triangle head profile from the right side. Just super sick. Tim's Don't owned this bike them. forever and it's absolutely pristine condition. Come, come check out, did you see this side? Ready to line up at Mid-Ohio, man. It's even got the original kickstand on it. Wow. So we also have available along with this, check this out. You're not gonna, you're not gonna believe this. This looks like a moving blanket over here, but there's a there's a there's a prize inside here. A hidden secret. Probably the last remaining brand new NOS Suzuki gas tank. This is super light. These were a lightweight aluminum tank. This tank probably weighs about two pounds. It's on the fender too. Absolute unobtainium. We also have the matching original fender. So these will probably be sold separately. If they do end up for sale, we might end up keeping it, I don't know. But um, it's got a little bit of shelf wear from 40 plus years. It's got, a, actually that's just tape. It'll probably come off. But we'll uh, put a coat of Canuba wax on this and we'll figure out what its destiny is gonna be. But what a kick-ass machine. Stay tuned to hear this thing rip. You'll be, you'll be surprised, these RM370s are fast as hell. and. Uh, Hopefully we'll do a third gear holy for you. Show them the factory shocks in the box right there. We have the original shocks. Now check this one out. Here's another classic Suzuki. This is anytime in any tag bikes were in his house on display. There's no gas in them. They were... Yeah, you, you, he had told you that his wife allowed him to allowed put him the, to keep him in the house. He kept these bikes inside the house in the living room. And I guess their history meeting at the sand pit, she was as much of an enthusiast as her. In fact, this Harley Davidson Road King on here was not his. This was her bike. This is a beautiful Road King. They, they had a, um, I had no idea the uh, the pictures that they sent on the Harleys. Um, it was just one side shot. I had no idea they're as nice as they are. In fact, James said the full dresser that they had was uh, a stunning two-tone blue. And he said, I need to call him up and, and uh, make him a, a better offer on it because uh, they decided not to sell that one. But James said it was beautiful. Look at this thing. This is a Trail Hopper 50, little two-stroke. These are street legal two-strokes. 
Nice paint job. This will be a fun little bike to rip around town. Look at this dime piece. Wow, Tim bought this brand new in March of 99. He put the order in, I got the receipt for it. It came in seven months later. This is back when you had to order a Harley and wait six months for it. And uh, they could sell them for five grand over dealer cost because they didn't, weren't making nearly enough. Put a ton of extras on it. It's got the uh, king queen seat with the backrest, leather bags, custom exhaust. This is a sequential port fuel injection road king with two-tone factory paint. Beautiful set of white walls. Oh yeah. Do a little test run. It's like a big comfy couch. When it comes to Harley Cruisers, it gets different, but it don't get much better than the Road King. King of the road. What have we here? Wow. RM125, 1977, if I am correct. Look at this thing. 1976, excuse me, I was off by a year. Not much difference between those two years, but here's a nice AHRMA racer, huh? Long travel lay down shocks. I wonder if it's got gas in it. No gas. Inside of the tank looks brand new. Aluminum tank, these are super, super nice. They only had the aluminum tanks up until 78. That was the last year. Then they went to plastic. Highly collectible steel tank, 76 RM125A. This is the first year of the lay down shocks. The original front number plate on here with the uh, rubber bands holding it on. This looks like a low hour original to me. It's original paint on here too, check it out. Little brother to the RM250. James, you always save the best for last when you load them up, you load yeah, them up. Yeah, but I got two good ones. Okay, yeah, two, two primos. Yeah. What have we here? Look at this. Wow. It's been a while since I've seen one of these. This is a six day Penton 125. This must have been the one he had in the living room forever, yeah. huh? Yeah. Look at the fenders on, these, on this thing, man. Look at the seat on this thing. Check it out, Penton KTM. This is back right before KTM bought Penton out, John Penton. They were making them over in Austria. KTM was making them. This is back when they had the Sox motor. This is a, like an interim year model when it said Penton on the tank, Penton KTM on the seat, and it still had the Sox motor. Uh, the same motor that would have been in that Rup 125. It's a merger year. Yep. Very cool. You just don't see these anymore. These are super rare birds. What a beauty. Did you save the best for last? I did save the best for last. What I do you got here? This is the prettiest bike. The suspense is killing me. I thought this was the prettiest one. Might not be the best, but it's the prettiest. Wow, look at that, huh? That's a beauty, Boltaco Alpina. Now this is one that he restored. Uh, he told me, Tim told me he restored this thing completely. Look at it. It's got a Bassani pipe on it. I, I've never, I've actually never have seen a Bassani pipe. So I bet you this thing sounds nasty. Guys, at first glance, you're gonna think this is a 250, right? Well, I've got a little surprise for you. This is another big bore. This is one of the first Bull Taco big bores. It's a 350 two stroke. How about that? It's got spark plugs, Bassani pipe, beautifully polished cases. Nice job, Tim. Wow, look at the shocks on this thing. Beedor, Beedor shocks. I think those are the originals. Looks like they've been restored. Frame paint looks good. Very nice job, Tim. Can't wait to hear this thing run. Left side kick. Wow, a lot of compression. Listen to that. You can hear it sucking air. That's a big, giant coffee cup size 350 piston. That's a logo on the 911 Coffee Company. Man, I could have used the 911 Coffee this morning after after this weekend we had. What a weekend! What a birthday weekend! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bikes. Is that all of them? That's it. Not bad for a Monday morning, huh? Now that's what came in. This is what go, is going out, guys. This bike right here is the first. Exact same model, Brian Deegan. This actually it should go up in value because Brian Deegan actually rode this through the museum on Friday night, on Easter, actually Saturday night, Easter Eve. And then we have the big brother. The, now these are going to a new home. All these bikes, these are what James is shipping out. So if you guys are watching and you got a bike coming to you, well, we've got this MR, we've got this beautiful CR250R, Ronnie Max special. And uh, we've got a Speedway cycle, a uh, Split Fire KX125 a Honda Shadow, a Yamaha Radian, and then a Trail 125 Yamaha. These are all shipping out. And then behind you, there's a Suzuki, I think it's a TS250. 
got some cool bikes shipping out today. So we got nine coming in and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then how many already shipped out today? Uh, eight. There's eight going out. We got eight, but but uh, uh, the, the tractor trailer showed up this morning from 1-800 Hall Bikes. We had two, two out this morning. Two. So that's 10 bikes out, nine in. The way you do it. Yep. If you got a collection of bikes you want to sell, give us a call. 860-454-7024.